I've got a new gadget and it's huge. I just realized there's something else I forgot. I hope you enjoyed the sexy b-roll of me vacuuming my apartment. Now let's hit the specs and key features. In a nutshell, the Jet 70 is a cordless vacuum comprising a handheld body and various attachments. It's powered by Samsung's digital inverter motor that generates a suction power of up to 150 watts. It features a high efficiency jet cyclone that maintains extreme suction power with a multi-cyclone structure of 9 cyclone and 27 air inlets. Air that's sucked through the main cyclone and mesh grill filter picks up large particles. Meanwhile, the five-layered HEPA filtration system catches ultra-fine dust, up to 99.999% in fact, including 0.3 to 10 micrometer particles and allergens. It uses a detachable dustbin design with a capacity of 0.8 liters, more than sufficient for a round or two of vacuuming around a thousand square feet space. The handheld body itself weighs just 1.48 kilos and can add up to around 2.5 kilos with attachments. Like the Dyson V11 I have, the Jet 70 also comes with a digital display. It shows the different user modes, power level, type of brush you're using, as well as status updates. It will also alert you of any brush problems or blockages. To start vacuuming, all you need to do is select a user mode and press the power button. There are various usage modes to choose from, min, mid, max. Or if you have a wet accessory, you can select the wet mode. Unlike Dyson cordless vacuums, you do not have to hold down a trigger to operate. This is good and bad, depending on personal preference. As you've seen earlier in the video, the Jet 70 comes with various accessories, including the combination tool, crevice extension tool, and the soft action brush. They're solidly built and robust, and are super easy to attach to the handheld body. The Jet 70 is powered by a removable 2000 mAh battery. This is good for up to 40 minutes of use with a non-motorized accessory. With a motorized accessory, battery life is down to 20 minutes. So basically, there are two ways to charge the Jet 70's battery. Number one, mount this charging station on the wall somewhere near a plug point. Because this is a demo device, I'm not gonna drill holes into my wall. 
you can do is do this. Get this plugged in there. That's, that's how you do it. Top point. Make sure that the contact points, the contact points, and there you go. Lights are blinking, so we're okay. Alternatively, you can also slide the entire body into the charging station, which also acts as a storage unit for the attachments. Although this isn't an official Jet 70 vs Dyson V11 comparison video, I thought I'd share some insights on some differences. Right off the bat, the Jet 70 is notably lighter. However, it is front heavy, which makes it a little more stressful on the wrist. The Dyson on the other hand, while heavier, is more of a balanced machine with the weight centered. This has less impact on the wrist overall. They both operate differently with the Dyson using a trigger mechanism while the Samsung uses a one-click type approach. Both have distinct advantages and disadvantages. Dyson's trigger type approach is more energy efficient as you simply lift off your finger when you're not vacuuming. However, it may cause fatigue since your index finger needs to be on the trigger throughout the operation. Meanwhile, the Samsung is convenient with just a press of a button but continues to operate until you turn it off. In terms of disposing of dust and dirt from the bin, Dyson's point and shoot mechanism is unique and easy. Simply point the canister towards your garbage bin and pull out the lever. This bagless design is convenient. However, it does run the risk of dust cloud. Aside from emptying the bin manually, Samsung has devised something pretty clever. An optional purchase, the Clean Station offers a cleaner, more convenient way to empty in your dustbin. Simply detach and place the dustbin on top of the Clean Station, which will then automatically empty out the dust. Can be a little noisy, but doesn't take more than a few minutes. It's an airtight design that Samsung claims is 400 times more hygienic than conventional dustbins. A 2-litre dust bag collects all empty dust. This needs to be replaced once every 2-3 to three months depending on usage. The clean station is built with a 5-layered HEPA filtration system to ensure no ultrafine dust or allergens escape back into the air. Next, let's touch on noise levels. So how quiet is the Jet 70 and the Dyson V11? Shh, let's begin. Do note that the Dyson V11 has a higher air suction power of 185 air watts. Next, the Samsung Jet 70. Overall, the Jet 70's attachments work well, although I did find the soft action brush lacking when it comes to picking up particles close to a wall. Easily solved with the extension crevice tool though. Overall, I found the Jet 70 a well-rounded performer. Granted, it's not perfect, but does bring some new ideas to the plate. The clean station especially, while polarizing and cost extra, is a neat idea if you have additional space to spare. In a sense, my perfect cordless vacuum cleaner could be a combination of the Jet 70 and the Dyson V11. And that's a wrap! I hope you liked this video and if you did, do give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell icon. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, and peace.